So I actually never thought that I would be getting into FPVs. To be honest, it always looked so confusing, so hard. There wasn't much infos online. It looked like you have to build it yourself. But then companies like iFlight, which are not sponsoring these videos by any means, but it's just the biggest company out there pretty much, started selling drones like this one, which is the ProTech 35, which you basically just order online and they just turn up to your door and you get a GoPro, you put it on top and they pretty much ready to fly once you know how to bind to your remote and to your goggles. So I'm actually looking forward to fly this guy because it looks very solid and I heard very, very good reviews. So let's not waste any time, let's go down to the usual park and uh, try this guy out. back here at the usual park on the early morning. Today we're here to test out the ProTech 35 from iFlight. I just got this drone a week or so ago. I got a GoPro on it, GoPro 11, and I got this to step up my footage because this is supposed to be one of the best FPV drones out there. It's very versatile. It's big enough that you can own the GoPro, full-size GoPro on it, which is great for quality and it's also big enough so it can resist some decent winds. But it's also small enough that you can fly indoors and it's got prop guards. So I'm very excited to see how this guy flies. Thing is, it's now been like five months since I started to get into FTB. And honestly, I have not got any shots I'm proud of. And that is why in the first place I never wanted to go into FTB. It just feels like the learning curve it's it's huge. Like it's not like you take a drone, you learn how to fly, and you're done. Like you gotta learn, you know, so many little things. You gotta learn, you know, how to bind things together, how to charge your batteries, how to fly with the wind, when to fly. There's just so many things you gotta learn. That is, it gets very frustrating. Like it's five months in now, and I've not got one shot that I'm actually proud of, so hopefully that changes this morning. Probably not, but um, yeah, let's see how this black does. <laughs> Right, the first five went very well, so we're gonna go down to the beach and see how if I can crash it on the water or not. Hopefully, hopefully not. Kevin is here. <laughs> right, we got to the second spot. The second spot at this beach that I usually surf at called Balangan has got this beautiful view. Let me see if I can show you guys actually. If I go out here, there we go. So we're gonna try fly through the beach there and around the headland around here and see how that looks but what I want to tell you is that once you start learning and once you start getting those shots then the fun begins because you know what you're actually doing you're still scared that the FPV will just gonna fall off the sky but that's never gonna change a thing so just get used to it and hopefully it will never will
right after flying for like two batteries <laughs> at the other location and this location i can already say this is the most fun i had flying fpv this thing is solid flies very fast flies very well and um, i'm excited to capture finally some shots and i'm happy so with that said let's uh, fly one more battery and i'll see you guys in the next video like subscribe all the usual things that you guys do hopefully and uh yeah stick around for the next one